Okay, here's some reference points for the driver's side parallel. We're going to go ahead and pull up slowly in the lane next to where the cones are set up. And we're going to pull up until the middle of the trailer, just past the turn signal on the trailer, just past this first row of cones, and then we're going to go ahead and stop. Okay. So as you can see there, you can see the turn signal middle of the trailer. This doesn't have to be perfect, but somewhere around here. So as you can see, the turn signal's here, the cones are here, it's a little past it, and now we're going to go ahead and turn our wheels hard to the right and go ahead and go forward. And then there's a few reference points here we can use that depending on what works for you. So if we have a back window, we're going to go ahead and we can use the corner of the trail right here, the corner of the trailer across the, and it's, when that gets on top of the passenger side frame rail over there, that's a good place to stop. Okay. Another way by looking out the back window, if you have one, is to just look down the, the side of the trailer. We'll show that here in a second. And you can see one cone, almost two, so one and a half cones right there will work as well. Now, if you don't have a trailer, we're going to go ahead and use this convex mirror here. And you can see that here. And we're going to try to see, and it's hard to see, but you can. There's two cones right back here. And you see those, and you know when to stop. So any of those is fine. Then we're going to go ahead and turn back to the left. And you have to realize it doesn't have to be perfect because we can adjust it and get our aim where we need to be by just pulling forward and moving to the left a little bit. So our initial goal is to be from the third cone from the back or the second and a half cone somewhere in there. And we're going to go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is also the eighth cone from the front. So that's something to keep in, in mind as well. So we pull up and try to get straight and try to aim for that. And if we lose where we are, it's important because we don't want to be aimed at the sixth or seventh cone because we're going to end up going in too steep of an angle and we're going to end up losing a bunch of points by going over the cones back there. So if we can't see where we are, it's best to just turn to the left and pull forward and we can see it. And you can see a pretty woman walking back there. We got She's not paying any attention, but we need to so we don't run into her. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and now we are aimed at pretty much where we need to be, which is the third cone here and then the eighth from the front. And then we've got the hard part pretty much taken care of. So now we have to do is proceed with our straight back and keep it right on there. And we'll have to do the little corrections to keep it on there. And then we're going to go ahead and use this as a reference point. See how the cones are somewhere in between the back of the truck and the front of the trailer. Or we can also use, if we look out the passenger mirror, we can see this back line here. And you can see that back trailer tires on that as well. So either one of those works fine. Then we're going to go ahead and turn our wheel hard to the left and go ahead and go back. And then we're going to use, when we get to the front of the trucks, just past these cones, or we're going to use another reference point where we can use the lines here. And we can see that the back trailer tire, uh, <laughs> truck tire, is about a foot past that line. And we can also use out of our back window this this trailer rail corner of the trail right on our frame rail that is another way we can tell when we've come far enough and then know that we're going to go ahead and turn it back to the right and we're going to just follow our truck around and get under our trailer as we call it and then we're going to go ahead and put it in there nicely Okay, 
And as you can see, when we get straight, we're going to go ahead and stop, straighten our trailer tires. And then as you can see, we are inside the boundary here, which is not a bad thing because being over here is only one point off, which is not a bad thing at all. And then the other part at the back is that if we look here, they will ask you to try to put it in this back box right here. But if you're short here, it's only one point off. Whereas if the trailer was to back up past it, then we would lose four points. And so it's better to be right where we are and, and get on our way. Hope this helps you. Thank you.